if you really want more proof they're trying to poison us in every single way possible just go outside on a nice sunny day where it's clear outside and it's beautiful and it won't be like that for long you'll see a jet come by and leave a streak of poison to further deteriorate our health you know i never really paid attention to these chemtrails until recently and you know part of it is i haven't noticed them before they weren't spraying them as often uh, especially up by me but you know lately every single day it's been sunny outside they've been spraying stuff in the air so i'm driving in my car on the way to the supermarket just a couple hours later and there's another one in the sky over there and there's one you can kind of see right there as well they've just been spraying these trails all day it's completely ridiculous you know they're poisoning people in, in different parts of new york and they're making sure people don't get any uv rays at all about 20 minutes later they just sprayed another one and you know it's really weird this whole day the sky has been absolutely beautifully perfectly blue clear except for the sun except for the sun you know it, it doesn't really make any sense the whole sky beautifully clear not a cloud in the sky however the sun for some reason has been blocked the whole day and they've been spraying these trails in the sky all day every single day while we've been locked up not allowed to get any sun the term conspiracy theory in this context is completely ridiculous it's 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 comical it really is comical it's ridiculous it's absurd any word that it, there's no word for it you can't dismiss that they're literally spraying poison in the sky they're putting poison in our food they're poisoning our air they're poisoning our water and how are people so ridiculously oblivious that they can you know try to explain everything having an excuse for this have an excuse for that uh in the dating community um a lot of what people refer to like unusual behavior is hamstering uh, which is when people are like dating each other and they try to justify their behavior in any way possible uh, that hamstering kind of means you know there's a hamster wheel in your head and whatever's happening the hamster is going to keep going on that hamster wheel regardless of what's going on around him and that kind of explains the mental state of the majority of people you know i mean what is there to really do you know, people don't even care that they're spraying stuff in the air. I mean, there should be riots. This should be absurd. You know, I mean, anything from, you know, vandalizing buildings to attacking officials. I'm not saying we should be doing those things or that those are okay things to do. But, you know, these elite people, these demons are literally spraying stuff in the sky and poisoning us on a daily basis. Uh, so I'll be honest with you guys. I've never done research in depth on what they put in these chemtrails. Uh, but, you know, to my understanding... Uh, there's a couple elements to this and the funniest thing about all of it is you know chemtrails are a conspiracy theory but if you look up geoengineering it's a legitimate thing and when they explain geoengineering it's literally the same thing as chemtrails it's when a plane sprays certain chemicals in the sky to manipulate the weather and i mentioned in you know the solar minimum video we did i believe last saturday that they likely have complete control of all weather on this planet and they can do whatever they wish at any point in time they wish so to think that they can't you know block the uvb from the sun for two hours a day or spray metals in the air is uh you know that would be a little naive so spraying the poisons the metals the aluminum the nanotechnology that basically you know poisons our bodies with soft metals so that makes your, you know, your brain function compromised, your antioxidant function, your liver function compromised, and to detox those metals, um, it, it's doable if all you're getting is, you know, toxicity from what they're spraying in the air. But combined with the food, the water, you know, the the brake fumes, every single thing in the lifestyle, that's why most Americans are very, 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 very sick. The nanotechnology is something else, and the brief explanation I was given on that is when they activate these five gram towers and certain radio frequencies uh, this stuff that we're inhaling can assemble in our bodies and do certain things i'm not quite sure that it can change our behavior uh, but it, it can most likely cause certain sicknesses and certain symptoms uh, so th there's like two physical aspects that they're doing there and the aspect of blocking uvb from the sun is very 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 bad so 
you can supplement vitamin D3 and supplementing vitamin D3 uh, to my understanding is just as effective uh, for your health and for immune function as getting the sunlight. I definitely feel better in the sun and I definitely notice an energy difference of being in the sun. Uh, so there's certainly other aspects of you know, vitamin D that you can't just get from a supplement. But you know, if they're spraying chemicals in the sky, you know, supplements better than nothing. And it really is diabolical because you know, when people are going outside to try to feel good, to try to get some sun, they're literally saying, no, you can't have this. You don't have the right on our planet as a human being to go out in the sun and enjoy nature. To me, it's just really, really sad and really unfortunate uh, that you know, we live in a position where they're able to do such evil, 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 despicable things like that. No one stands up. No one seems to care. You know, I've said things along the lines of, you know, people just want the quick, cheap, and easy way out of life. They want to sit at home, watch TV all day, uh, you know, the consumerism stuff, have their iPhone, you know, have their TV shows, get drunk, party, drugs, whatever it is, people aren't selfless enough. People don't have a drive, you know, to want to better this planet and, and better the health of other people. And with so few people like myself that want to do those positive things and that try to convince other people, it's, it, it's crazy. You know, people don't just like not want to believe you at all. They actually attack you. They get angry. When you try to help people, you know, I was, you know, telling my family like, hey, uh, if you guys are going to stay in this house, I mean, I'm not going to be here come later this year if, if shit hits the fan. I'm going to make sure I can protect myself. So I was like, all right, if you guys want to stay in this house, these are the things you have to do to protect yourself. And they didn't want to hear it. They were angry at me. Oh, you're not making me do anything. You're not making me, uh, you know, go in the sun and get my vitamin D. I want to stay inside. The sun's dangerous. I want to put my sunscreen on and put my hat on. It's, it, it's insane that the government is doing these evil, 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 evil things. And they've convinced the majority of the people not to even participate in what they're preventing. You know, most people are afraid to go outside and get some sun. And for the small percentage of people that are getting some sun, they still take it away. They still take it away. You know, for all of the people that are avoiding aluminum, are avoiding fluoride, or trying to live a super duper duper healthy lifestyle, they're still poisoning people. They're spraying it in the air. They're spraying it wherever they can put it. Every time I think of this stuff, I think of New Zealand and how it's like the one country where the elite seem to have all of these bunkers where they don't do any of this stuff. So there's two things to keep in mind here. And the predominant one is how can you protect yourself? What precautions do you have to make under these certain circumstances of what they're doing? And two is, you know, what can we do as a whole uh, to try to move this planet in a better direction? Is that possible? Can we wake up enough people to make a change? To me, it shouldn't be something optimistic, but you know, with how brainwashed and zonked out everyone is, it does seem unrealistic. Uh, you know, so I've made many, 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 many videos about nutrition on my channel. Uh, the two predominant ones that will help you guys out here is one on antioxidants and the other on inflammation. Those two videos will basically explain to you how to optimize the antioxidant properties in your diet and lifestyle so your body can recover properly. And the inflammation video discusses how to remove all of those negatives. Uh, I didn't talk about these things specifically. I mean, you know, you can't exactly just go outside wearing a gas mask. Uh, I think what you really have to do is, you know, try to spend more time in nature, try to exercise, try to, you know, be, be grounded. I did a, a video on grounding maybe, I don't know, seven, eight, nine months ago that you guys should check out. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things you can do naturally in the lifestyle, avoiding Wi-Fi, avoiding EMF, avoiding magnetic fields, high electric fields, you know, getting as much done as possible despite them uh, spraying all of this stuff. Uh, you know, just try to be happy too. You know, there's, there's a lot of things you can do and once you do enough of these things, uh, you will start feeling better, you will start looking better, and uh, you will start enjoying life more. And, you know, if you do have underlying health issues, you know, don't get discouraged. You know, most problems take, you know, a few months to figure out and, you know, probably, you know, the better part of a year to solve. But, you know, once you're able to solve those issues and put yourself in a good position, uh, you know, to get that baseline of diet and lifestyle, you'll see major improvements in your health and you will become an optimal person, not only physically, but mentally, and uh, everything should get better. I wasn't actually 
you know, planning on filming this today. There's a giant spider on my socks. And I got a giant bug bite the other day on my chest. It went down a little bit, but man, did it hurt, you know. I'm laying out here in the sun. I have to find uh, some type of precaution for the bug. So uh, if you guys do want, you know, one-on-one -on -one diet, nutrition, and uh, fitness consultations, you guys can reach out to me. All the stuff is down in the description below. Uh, you know, I didn't really feel like doing the research on chemtrails, doing, you know, super high amount of research on nanotechnology, you know, the specific chemicals they're spraying in the air, you know, how, you know, blocking those UVB rays, you know, what they're actually doing. Uh, and, you know, there's even allegedly an enzyme in the injections they plan on giving us uh, that inhibits vitamin D absorption. So, you know, these elite people really don't want us getting vitamin D. Uh, and there was even uh, a Joe Rogan podcast recently where they were talking about the benefits of vitamin D. I didn't watch it yet. Uh, I probably will. I don't know if they went over dosages, but you know, they're not talking about vitamin K2. They're not talking about omega fatty acid balance. They're not talking about so many, so many other things that you need to address in your diet and lifestyle to be healthy. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, as I've been saying, you know, most of my past videos, uh, let's try to stay positive. Let's try to take things day by day and see if we can move things in a positive direction. I will uh, be handing out my flyers as soon as I get them. I should be getting them uh, later this week. And you know, things are starting to open up a little bit again in New York. Uh, so who knows, maybe Memorial Day, I'll go around and put these posters up on the beach or something. I'll get a few uh, dirty Russian girls to help me. Well, not necessarily Russian girls, but you guys get the point. Uh, so that's gonna be it for today. Uh, you guys know how to support me. Uh, there's a bunch of exciting stuff. I'm really looking forward to this year. Uh, the farm might actually happen. Um, and uh, everything's working out for you guys. So I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.